For me, um, one of the biggest symptoms is uh, joint pain, fatigue, and heart pain because I've dealt with some heart condition involvement with my lupus and hair loss. And so oftentimes those symptoms, other than the hair loss and maybe swollen joints, people can't observe that. And so they don't know why you seem not yourself. Um, uh, not every uh, lupus patient has it manifested in the exact same way. So I think oftentimes um, you need to start to get familiar with how your symptoms show up. I've had kind of the same few symptoms um, over the years. And so I'm used to them and I know what they feel like and what they look like and when I need to be concerned and need to call a doctor because something has gotten more difficult than it normally is. But the first few years, I was still trying to get to know the symptoms. I, because I'm not a doctor, this is not medically based, but based on my experience with lupus and research, um, hormones often play a part in the initial onset of symptoms and on my journey through lupus, it was a severe uh, sunburn and some other stressors. So stress and hormones can often be a trigger, often with um, a new pregnancy or change in um, hormones when you're a teenager can often be times where lupus shows up. Causes, though, for autoimmune is a, a much deeper conversation and complex. So from what the research is showing, there's no definitive cause, um, but there can be triggers for having flare-up. Recently, I had a conversation with uh, one of the directors of the Lupus Foundation, and over the last 10 years, I was surprised to realize that there's not been a lot of change in treatment options. There's the same kind of category of medicine that can be used. And so I really value treatment from a different approach. Um, I try to see treatment as not just treating a symptom, but treating um, well-being overall. And so I try to move my body every day. I try to be aware of how much sleep that I need. I try to use meditation to help with stress. I try to use supplements and I also get regular massages. Those are super helpful with uh, joint pain and, and also fatigue. And so you may have to figure out what treatments are the best for you. And so I'm not saying that medicine isn't a great option, but with that comes some side effects. One of the best tips I like to give is being really clear what you say yes to and what you say no to. There's only so much time in the day. And when you're dealing especially with an active lupus flare, you will have limited energy and you will have to be really clear what you want to spend time doing and not doing. So give yourself permission to say no to the things that aren't serving you. And then also get really clear on what the most important things are. For example, if you have young children um, or if you have a job, then that's what you're going to be um, making sure gets the energy and time you have. And make sure that you know that it's okay to say no so that you can rest and say no so that you can exercise and say no so that you have time to eat the foods that are going to nour nourish you. Saying yes to everything is not helpful, especially um, when you're struggling in an active flare. One tip that I think is really important is to decide who your tribe is, your friends and family that are the closest to you, that you want them to understand where your disease is kind of showing up and support you. So educate them. You will have close friends that don't understand how autoimmune shows up. You will have people well-meaning that will think you look healthy and that you're feeling fine because they can't see maybe um, that your heart condition is back or that your joints are hurting or that your kidneys are struggling at the time. So take some time to decide not everyone you meet at church, at work, at school needs to know all the gory details, but make sure you have a tribe of people that are educated that kind of understand the dynamics of an autoimmune disease and spend some time with them, helping them understand how it shows up for you, what might be a signal that 
that you're having a hard day. And that's really helpful for them because you're still trying to learn how to deal with it and they're trying to learn how to support. I was just sharing with someone today about my journey with lupus. Um, I've lived with it for now 25 years. And 25 years ago, the research and the medical books um, gave me only 10 years to live. And that's changed, fortunately. Um, but what hasn't changed is there's not a lot of different treatments or ways to approach um, supporting someone in their health journey if they are dealing with lupus. So I've done a lot of traditional medicine and I've done a lot of non-traditional and I've um, come to understand that for me, um, the non-traditional is supportive of overall well-being and that's not to criticize medicine or medical, traditional medical doctors, but for me, I've done a more... Um, big approach to well-being in general. So I do a lot of preventative care and I try to look at my exercise diet, my stress level, using other tools to help maintain health, not just attack symptoms. One of the heartbreaks of my life is when I was first diagnosed with lupus, my doctor said I would never be a mom, that I could never have children. I do have two children, one daughter that's almost 15 and a son that's almost 21. And so I would say that you at the beginning of any health journey are going to hear a lot of things. You're going to read a lot of things. You're going to feel overwhelmed at times. And you're going to sometimes feel like you have to mourn the loss of what you thought your normal would be. Your new normal will start to show up. And for me, I've had periods of time, long periods of years where it, it has been more difficult. And then I've had other periods of time in my life. The last few years have been overall really healthy. And I've been able to write books and speak all over the world and, and share messages of hope. And I was able to have children. And so I just validate for you that you may be hearing some things that are hard to absorb and to come to peace with. Give yourself time. Be patient. Early on, after I was diagnosed with lupus, my husband and I attended a support group, and that was very helpful at first. Um, as time went on, it wasn't as helpful because at that time, I became the one that was struggling more physically and medically than anyone else in the group. And so it was somewhat discouraging at times. And so I think support groups are great. And now because of technology, um, you can have virtual support groups. You can find Facebook groups that are devoted to people that are specifically dealing with lupus, um, Instagram accounts and YouTube channels. My YouTube channel is Gaina Lynn. And that's my first name, G-A-N-E-L-L-Y-N. And I have some content there um, about this journey that I've had. Not everyone's journey, no one's journey is going to look the same. And so I think it's helpful to find other people, but be aware that they may be having things manifest differently and it might be going differently for them. But I think connection is a great resource. So I'm often asked um, by people that are surprised that I deal with lupus um, how I write books and speak all over the world and do the media work that I do. And I'm here to say that there's been seasons of my life where it's not been that way. I've done a lot of uh, medicine over the years and had times in my life where I wasn't able to contribute or show up in my life in the way that I wanted. And so my encouragement for you is this, that this is a long marathon. You're not running a sprint. And so you're going to be learning about lupus and how it shows up in your life and what tools are most effective in helping you create health and well-being and balance. And so don't give up because there are times in my life where I've had to pull way back and just focus on the most basic parts of my life. And I promise you will also have seasons of health and strength where you can show up differently. I know that you may be feeling really discouraged if you are uh, watching this video right now and maybe you've just been diagnosed or maybe you've been battling this for years and you are just feeling overwhelmed that life is never going to feel different and better. And I just want to offer some encouragement. I validate that this journey with lupus is unknown and sometimes you're taking the best care of yourself and you're still feeling horrible and sometimes uh, your labs are horrible but you're feeling pretty good. And people don't always understand 
And so I just want to encourage you that um, lupus for me personally has been a great teacher. I've learned a lot about my body and my heart and my relationships through this journey. And it's been a great gift for me. But at times it's been overwhelming, frustrating, and sad. I've been sad that I want to do more and I don't always feel like I physically have the strength to do more. And so I promise you that you will have better days if you're having a hard time now you have a loved one or a friend that is struggling with lupus, it can be challenging to know how to help them um, because chronic illness is chronic and it's long term. It's running a marathon. It's not a sprint. So ask your friend or loved one how they are feeling. Don't assume by looking at them because sometimes they will look great and not feel great. Sometimes their labs will be horrible, but they'll feel really good. And sometimes the reverse is true. Um, ask your loved one how um, you can best support them. Let them tell you, you know, be patient with me if I can't return a phone call or text me because that's easier for me. Or come spend some time with my kids because I really just need to be able to sleep in today and get some good rest in the morning. Um, so often we want to guess how to support each other and we just need to ask and then be patient that um, you may make plans and then your friend or loved one cancels. Um, they're not trying to be annoying. They're not trying to be difficult. They're just trying to live with a chronic illness.